Hello folks and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do it now and hit the bell icon to get instant updates. Today I'll be showing you how to attach these granny squares together using three different methods. If you want to see how I made these granny squares, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So let's get started with the first method. So these are the granny squares I'm going to attach together. So I'm going to take some white yarn and we're going to attach it to the corner of one of our granny squares. So insert the hook in the corner, place your yarn on your hook and pull it through and chain one to secure your work. Now insert the hook in the first stitch, the first double crochet of one side and we go under both loops and you make a slip stitch. Now insert the hook in the first stitch of the other granny square going under both loops and make a slip stitch. Now in the next stitch go under both loops of both the granny squares together and make a slip stitch. Again in the next stitch go under all the loops so you're going under four loops and then a slip stitch. So you will continue this and you will be able to join the sides together and this will leave a little texture in the center a slight bump if you like that that's fine or you can see the other two methods as well so as you can see over here there's a slight bump in the center so now let's move on to the second method So I've got my granny squares over here and attach the white yarn to one of the corners of the granny square. So we place the yarn on the hook, pull it through the space and then chain one to secure it. Now go into the back stitch of one of the granny squares and on the other granny squares we're going to go in the loop which is towards us, which is the front loop you can say, and then pull to make a slip stitch. In the next stitch as well, back stitch, front stitch, and then pull to make a slip stitch. Keep going from back to front and then a slip stitch. Back loop, front loop of the other granny square, and then a slip stitch. So this will help you create a stitch in the center, but it's going to be on the side as the slip stitches usually come on the side of the stitch. So here as well you can see how it's forming. Now I'll show you the third method how to join your granny squares. So over here I've already started joining my granny squares but you start in the same way join from this corner and you have to make sure that the yarn is in the center of both the granny squares for this stitch. Insert the hook from top to bottom for one granny square and from underneath to top for the other one yarn over and pull through all three loops. And this will help you create a stitch in the center of both the granny squares. So watch it again top and then from underneath you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three loops. And you have to make sure that you're keeping the yarn in the center of both the granny squares. Let's see this again once more. So inserting from top to bottom for one granny square and from underneath to top for the other one, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I found this third method the most comfortable and the best looking stitch. So I used this method to join the whole of my blanket together, doing one row at a time. So as you can see over here, I'm joining them row by row. So for the width of this blanket, I use six granny squares and for the length, 10 granny squares. So once all your granny squares are attached, we're going to come to the edging. So for the edging, I did one single crochet around the border. 
Now I'll show you how to make the pom-pom edging. So over here I've done a few pom-poms and you can see I've used different colors and these are the same colors I've used in my granny squares. You can add more colors if you like. So let's see how I've done this. So between the space between each of the two pom-poms is four stitches. So count four stitches after your pom-pom, one, two, three, four, and the fifth stitch insert your hook place your yarn on your hook and pull it through and chain one two three now insert yarn over insert the hook in the first chain one yarn over pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two now again yarn over and insert the hook in the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two you have three loops on the hook yarn over again Go into that same space again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now for the other side of the pom-pom, chain three, yarn over and go into the first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, go in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and do, do this one more time. So you have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now attach this side to the main part. So you can go in the first single crochet, sorry, first chain, or you could go into the stitch. So I'm going to go into the stitch on the blanket, yarn over and make a slip stitch. So now cut off the yarn over here and pull your hook through like this. Just pull it to tighten it. Now place this yarn on your needle. Now over here we are going to stitch the two sides which are open for this pom pom. You can see this open side over here and this is the other side. So for one side just go in and out from one side to the other like this closing the edge together. So now insert the hook and bring it towards the end of the other side. So you can use the same yarn or you could use the other yarn to close the other side. So I'll be using the same yarn over here. So as you can see the space go from one side to the other and close the space in between. So once you've done that, if you have a big space in the center, you can just go from this side in the center circle like this going from this side and going the other side pull up and pull to close that center space now from the other side the starting yarn don't just cut it off or it will just unravel the whole pom-pom so make sure you weave in the end before you cut off the um, extra yarn so as you can see, I've weaved in a few of the stitches and now cut off the yarn and your pom-pom is ready. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.